Hello and welcome to yet another video of Cornerstones of Math. Today we will solve the following problem. There exist two functions fx and gx satisfying fa equals ga for some real number a. Also, for some positive real number delta, fx is greater than or equal to gx for all x on the closed interval a minus delta comma a plus delta, and both fx and gx are differentiable on the open interval a minus delta comma a plus delta. Prove that the derivative f prime a equals the derivative g prime a. So in a less formal language, the graphs of two functions meet at x equals a and in the vicinity of a, which is denoted using the positive real number delta, one graph is always on or above the other and both functions are differentiable in that vicinity. Then we must prove that two graphs have the same slope at x equals a. Or should I say they have the common tangent line at x equals a. So let's solve this and we have to use the definition of derivatives. Consider a real number h such that the magnitude of h is greater than 0 and less than delta. So it is obvious that either a plus h or a minus h is greater than a minus delta but less than a plus delta and in this interval fx is greater than or equal to gx so we have f a plus h is greater than or equal to g a plus h. Next, we subtract f a on both sides. And since f a equals g a, we can write minus f a here and minus g a here since they are the same. The next step is dividing both sides with h but we have to divide cases for that. Case 1, if h is positive, then dividing with h does not change the direction of the inequality sign, so we have f a plus h minus f a divided by h is greater than or equal to g a plus h minus g a divided by h. Taking limits, where h approaches 0 from the right, because h is positive, then we have this relation. Notice that these are one-sided limits. Generally, the one-sided limit is not equal to the derivative, but in this case, it is already given in the problem that fx and gx are differentiable at x equals a, so we know that these one-sided limits are equal to the derivatives. So we can write derivative f prime a is greater than or equal to the derivative g prime a. So we have obtained this. In case 2, if h is negative, then dividing with h changes the direction of the inequality sign. So we have f a plus h minus f a divided by by h is now less than or equal to g a plus h minus g a divided by h. And now, the limit is h approaching 0 from the left. And again, since both functions are differentiable at x equals a, we can just replace them with derivatives. So we have derivative f prime a is less than or equal to g prime a. So we have obtained this. So from case 1, we have obtained this. And from case 2, we have obtained this. Therefore, we have f prime a equals g prime a. And that concludes the proof. And that was all for today's video. Thank you for watching and I will see you in another video.